Hi everyone, welcome to this edition of the broadcast where we give you bite-sized bits of best practices to help you be a better leader and a more effective communicator. I'm your host, Jarrett Bro. Each week we have a discussion question online. Earlier this week we asked this question, what's the proper posture when you're sitting for a live media interview? All week long you've been sharing your professional opinions online. Here are some of the best observations so that you can compare your best practices to the ones that these folks shared. Gina says, sitting or standing facing forward toward the interviewer, be engaged forward but not too menacing. So in other words, she's saying lean in but don't be threatening when you lean in. Justin says the good old straightforward lean is his approach, although he's seen it go horribly wrong on occasions, and he says think of the political candidate Bernie Sanders, who gets too far in and too excited sometimes. Shirella says sit up, unfold your arms, and stay away from swivel chairs. Unfolding your arms is important. You don't want to lock your hands in your lap. You actually want to talk with your hands. Watch the broadcast. You see me talking with my hands all the time, as long as they don't pass in front of your face. We'll come back and talk about the swivel chairs in a minute, because if you're in a swivel chair, it really makes you look like an astronaut in a centrifuge. Uh, the Ohio Student Public Relations Association says, sit on the front edge of the chair. Yes, that's correct. Feet flat on the floor, floor, yes. Hands folded in the lap, uh, maybe at starting position, but I'd rather have them on an arm armrest. And if you're wearing a suit, sit on the back tail of the suit. And that is certainly true if you are a male and you've got a longer jacket tail. Uh, MWPR says it depends on whether you're male or female. They say in both cases, straight posture of the core is important. Men flat-footed. Women crossed at the ankles. Yes, that is appropriate. Flat-footed for males, ladies cross at the ankles, even though the more popular version is crossing at the knee. And Mark says it's definitely not a slouching position. He says the only one who can get away with that is William F. Buckley. And if you don't know who William F. Buckley is, uh, look it up on Google. Perhaps there'll be a play just like Hamilton someday. All good observations. Here's my experience. The people who design studios have probably never been interviewed and have probably never sat in the chairs. Sometimes it's really uh, cool looking furniture, but the armrests come up about this high. And for a short guy like me, it's, it's hurting my rotator cuffs and my hands are too high. Sometimes it's a stool. Stools are horrible especially for gals trying to climb up on the stool and to uh, sit like a lady while on the stool. And if you're on a stool, it almost always forces you to cross at the knee because if a gal is wearing heels, which generally it's going to be heels in a skirt, there's no comfortable place to put your feet underneath the stool. Definitely not the swivel chair. Like I said earlier, that makes you look like an astronaut in a centrifuge. Ideally, you want a chair with four legs. You want a chair with armrest. I like to put my elbows on the armrest and use that as my pivot point to talk with my hands. To get your posture correct, make a fist. This is important. Make a fist and put it in the small of your back. That is how far the back of the chair will be from your back. This pushes your tush to the front or middle of the chair. And that in turn pushes your feet flat to the floor. If you're leaning back and you're too far back, it makes you appear arrogant or sloppy. If you're upright with your back, it's going to force a man to either do the man spread, which you never want, or to cross at the ankle I'm sorry, for men, it would be cross at the, at the ankle with the ankle on the leg. And it could also mean either for men or women crossing at the knee. Crossing legs sometimes insults certain cultures, especially if the shoe sole faces the public. So for guys, now in a multicultural world, that's a problem. But if you put your fist in the middle of your back, it's going to push you forward. Men can have knees relatively close together, feet flat on the floor. Ladies can have knees together, ankles crossed, 
together one over the other, and that's an outstanding posture. Practice before you go into a live interview, and when you're invited for the live interview, make sure you've watched the program so that you see what the set looks like and ask the producer what type of chair will I be sitting in so that you can A, dress strategically, and B, practice how you're going to sit because you need to remember your body language is important. For the broadcast, I'm Jared Brough.